Welcome to the CBS Radio Mystery Theater Archives. The only YouTube channel which has the original classic episodes of the CBS Radio Mystery Theater in order with no ads. Thank you for listening. And now, enjoy the show. CBS Radio Mystery Theater presents... Come in. Welcome. I'm E.G. Marshall. Venice is a city of magic which has captured the imagination of artists, poets, and tourists throughout the centuries. A city of dramatic contrasts, bright lights and dark shadows, romantic canals and narrow alleyways where intrigue lurks in the shadows. for a mystery, and that's why we have chosen it as the setting for our tale of terror. I am not leaving Venice. Not now, with the chance of a lifetime. You can't very well stay with no passport and no money. They were stolen. That's why I've come here to the embassy for help. I'm sorry, but you're not the first art student to be stranded. And what did you do In your case, then? your father tells me you've already finished a year of study. You talked to my father? I telephoned him last night, and he's wiring the money for your plane ticket. I'll arrange for a temporary passport. I won't leave. Young lady, I have no alternative but to follow your father's instructions. He insists that I send you home. Our mystery drama, Portrait of Death, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Elizabeth Pennell and stars Tony Roberts and Rosemary Rice. It is sponsored in part by Anheuser-Busch Incorporated, Brewers of Budweiser, and Buick Motor Division. I'll be back shortly with Act One. Two years ago, Vicki Bradford was studying Renaissance painting in Venice. But just as she started work on what seemed to be a very exciting art project... Her small room at a pensione was broken into, and everything was taken. Her passport, books, notes, and papers from a year's course of study. Although everyone tried to assure her this could happen to anyone, she was convinced that the burglar had singled her out. You know that feeling. Why me? However... Vicky was peremptorily sent home to America where she settled down to teaching the history of painting, met the young curator of a museum, fell in love, and uh, you guessed it, they were married. Oh, help me close this suitcase, Peter, will you? As usual, I've stuffed it too full. Vicky, <laughs> sometimes I get the feeling the only reason you married me was because I promised you a honeymoon in Venice. Oh, that's one of the reasons. Oh, thanks a lot. Don't you love me just a little? Oh, <laughs> Peter, stop it. Or are you trying to tell me you really don't want to go? Oh, you know I want to see that painting just as much as you do. I'm going to write an article. How else can I pay back the money we borrowed for the trip? Well, hurry up then or we'll miss the plane. <laughs> It still looks like a picture postcard. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, I'm so excited. Peter, Peter, I love you, I love you. <laughs> That's the proper spirit for a honeymoon. But can't we sit down for a minute? Have a Campari or something? Not until I show you that painting. Now, what makes you so sure it's in the Doge's palace? Well, it's the only clue I could get after all those letters I wrote. And besides, Antonio... Honey, I, look, I don't want you to be disappointed. If that painting is as great as you say it is, there would have been some publicity, and I, I would have heard about it. 
Well, there must be a reason. Now, when we get to the left gallery, I don't want you to ask the guard for directions or anything. I'll just find it. The painting is small, but I'll know what it looks like. Look at that stairway. Well, it wouldn't be up there. Those are the rooms where the doges lived. And that staircase goes to the armory. Yeah, well, how about this way? Oh, oh, no, no. Those rooms were never open to the public. You seem to know your way around. Oh, I spent hours in this place. You know, some people think this hall we're in now is the most impressive room in the whole world. Hmm. It's rather gaudy for my taste. Oh, those murals aren't so hot. Snob. The better ones burned up years ago in a big fire. Hey, wait a minute. I want to look at that Tintoretto. And this, uh, Veronese. Not now, Peter. First, the small Galleria. There's some unusual things in there. It's, it's not like the rest of the palace. Oh, well, this is where they exhibit gifts to the city and new discoveries. Only I don't see it. Oh, yes. Yes, Peter, over there in that corner. This is what we have come 5,000 miles to see? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, your enthusiasm led me to expect a good deal more. Well, well the, the light's not right. How could they possibly have hung it in such a dark corner? But honey, you told me it was an original, Raphael. Well, it is. Yeah, well, then why does it say here, di scuolo di... That means the school of Raphael. Well, that's wrong. Antonio authenticated it. He knew. That's why we were so excited. Honey, you've been had. I don't believe it. It must be the light. Before Antonio cleaned it, maybe. Well, afterwards... Why, you've seen the photograph I took in his studio. Yeah, many times. It looks a lot better in that photo than it does in real life. Well, I brought the snapshot with me. It's in my purse. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. There's some nice things about this painting, but uh, I must say it's disappointing. And here. Now look how radiant the colors are, even though the prints faded. The colors on film can be exaggerated, especially when you use a flash. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll take a shot right now of this painting, your original. No, 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 senor. No, 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 photographia. It is forbidden. Uh, well, perhaps I could get permission. Uh, to do what, senor? Uh, to take a photograph of this painting. Oh, no, not that one, senor. No, no. It's not. Never allowed. Well, it must be on a postcard. Oh, many nice carte postale of the Doge's Palace, senor. But of this painting, no. But I would have thought... Oh, so many things I don't understand. Look, let's find Antonio and get an explanation. Not now, we won't. We are going to have ourselves a nice, leisurely lunch. I am star. Que es la? Es Luigi. Qui? Senor Guardi. Si. Who are you? And what do you want? I am Luigi, the guard from the Galleria at the Palazzo. I do not like to be disturbed at this time of day. But, senor, it is the only time I can get away. I must talk to you. And why must you come to me? It is about the painting... The one you said... Uh, I... You had the better come in. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Not into the house. We will go down below to my office. Now, state your business. Grazie. Uh, Signor, do you still require information about the people who pay attention to that uh, painting? Yes, yes. But the amount I pay depends upon the quality of the information. Today, uh, there was an American couple very interested. Go on. The gentleman, he attempted to take a photograph. You stopped the man, of course. Naturalmente. But uh, the young woman, she had a photograph. You allowed her to use the camera? Oh, no, 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 no. She brought the photograph from her purse. Although she held it up beside the painting, I was too far away. To... You must tell me exactly what you saw. Really, senor, I was not close enough Everything, to... Luigi. This woman, what did she look like? Well, 
a pretty American lady. Uh, uh, tall, short, dark. Uh, rather tall, uh, like American ladies. And uh, her hair was blonde. Uh, their conversation, Luigi. Everything they said. I, I will pay you well. Uh, the English so rapido. The light. They said it was Marlow. Very bad. Uh, go on. And the colors not bright enough. And, uh, not, not original. She said that? I believe it was the gentleman. Uh, was he too an American? Oh, see, si. I, I think they are husband and wife. When was this? Well, just now. Uh, before I left for my lunch. Yeah, when they left, did they say where they were going? Uh, they talked only about the painting. Now, th think, Luigi, think hard. Remember each word. Uh, the gentleman said uh, he was hungry. And uh, they would take a time for lunch. Ah, ah. Very good, Luigi. Calzone in the Piazza San Marco. We will go there and you will point them out to me. But, but, Signor, I have very little time. I told you I will pay you well. It is important that you come with me. I do not see them, Signor. And I must go, or I will be late to my post. But you are with me. If you are late, I will take care of anything. This is important, Luigi. You must find her. But so many people... We keep looking. Uh, perhaps they went somewhere else. Tourists always come here. Uh, well, uh, I, I think... I, I, si, senor. That little table over by the bandstand. Uh. The small table with the lady and the gentleman. <sighs> Ah, of course. I should have seen her myself. I would recognize that face anywhere. You are acquainted with the lady, senor? I have met her. Then you no longer have a need of me. I must go back to the palace. No, so, not uh, yet. There may be much more for you to do. Uh, Luigi, if they should come back to the Galleria, and I'm sure they will... You must find out that woman's name. But if you already know... She may be married or traveling under an assumed name. But I am only a guard. I don't see how you I could... You will think of a way. You, you must do this for me. It is your patriotic duty. My patriotic... I will have to let you in on a secret. <laughs> But only if you swear not to reveal your actions uh, or to breathe a word of this to a living soul. Uh, I, I swear. Luigi, for your information only, that American woman is a dangerous spy. Mm, good lunch, wasn't it? Yeah, how about another espresso? Oh, no. We must find Antonio. And you said he wasn't listed in the telephone book. Well, that doesn't mean much in Venice. We'll go to his studio. Come on. They call these streets. <laughs> this wouldn't even be an alley back home. Oh, but it's all so charming. It's kind of spooky. I don't think the sun ever gets in here. <laughs> hey, when you were a student, did you honestly wander around here by yourself? Weren't you frightened? Of what? I was so in love with Venice that everything seemed safe and wonderful. Oh, well, I feel uncomfortable. As though someone is following us. Imagination, Peter. Oh, here's a little street I used to know so well. Well, I'm glad you know where we're going. Oh. What's the matter? This row of houses. Why, well, they've been remodeled. Well, that's progress for you. This is Antonio's house, with the big bow window on the second floor. But downstairs, where he had a studio, it's... It's a laundry. <laughs> it's just like home. It can't be. It just can't be. Why not? He's moved. Unless we're on the wrong street. But we're not. His marvelous workshop, gone. Yeah, listen, the man's probably been run out of town for being a forger. I don't believe that, Peter. Well, I'm beginning to. I mean, because if that painting had been genuine, the whole art world would have known. No, something is wrong. And that's why Antonio did not answer my letters. Well, how could he if he was in jail? Oh, stop talking like that. You never met Antonio. I'm going into the laundry to find what happened. Yeah, good luck. I'll wait for you out here. Peter? Peter, where are you? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. How'd you make out? Oh, I, I didn't. 
Now, they never heard of Antonio, right? Well, the laundry has been there about a year and no idea who was there before. <laughs> now you can relax. Let's start enjoying a proper honeymoon. Peter, we came to Venice for a reason that's important to both of us. I thought if no one else would, you'd help me. All right, well, let's get back to the hotel and we'll talk about it. All right, but first, I want a picture of this building. Oh, those across the street are much more interesting. But this is the one that matters. You know, I'll have to use a flash. It's so dark in this alley. Well, get the whole building. I'll back up. If that sinister-looking character will move out of the doorway... Well, uh, get the laundry sign... What is that man doing? Hey, 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 let go of my camera, will you? Hey, stop it. Hey, Vicky, how do you call the police in Italian? Peter, Peter, he'll hurt you. Let him have the Please, camera. Damn if I will. Let him go. <laughs> I'm going after him. He took my camera. No use, Peters. Look, he's already disappeared. It's incredible the way people are coming and going in these alleys. I should have chased him. My Leica, Vicky. He got my Leica. I'm sorry, but thank the Lord you weren't hurt. Well, let's get out in the open. You know how to get to the next big square? Oh, I think so. Um, if we turn here, uh, there, there should be a canal. Now look, we're being followed. Are you sure? I'm absolutely sure. Step by step. We'd better run. I don't think so. Hold your purse tightly under your arm and hang on to me. We are being followed. I am going to scream for help. No, Vicky. Just keep a steady pace until we get out of this deserted passageway. But he may have a dagger or something. Just keep walking. Your canal must be ahead. I see a bridge and people. And when we get there, we can mingle with the crowd. But Peter, he's right behind us. Please, let's run. Steady. Now, I'll... Peter, watch out! Let go of my arm, Vicky. Break away. You'll be hurt. Peter has been struck from behind by an unknown assailant and lies unconscious. You must realize that the main streets of Venice are waterways where public transportation is by boat only. Tiny alleyways between the canals are traversed strictly on foot. And a body, alive or dead, could remain on the stones for a long time before any cry for help is heeded. I'll return shortly with Act Two. We have a mystery on our hands. It started out as a search for a famous painting, but now the question has been raised as to whether or not such a painting ever existed. We've heard certain accusations, but if a crime has been committed, what was that crime? Who is the perpetrator? And even more to the point, who is innocent and how many victims? We intend to find the answers. But remember, Venice is full of imponderables. There is even a good deal of speculation about how long before this beautiful city sinks into the sea. Poor Peter. Don't move your head. Maybe I'm lucky to still have a head to move. Hey, this is our hotel room. It's not a hospital. You're going to be all right. Oh, Peter, I've been so frightened and worried. Someone stuck smelling salts under my nose, and from then on, I don't remember a thing until I came to in this room. It was a blackout from that terrible blow to the base of your skull. Oh, not even the Venetian dagger. The guy used his bare hand with classic karate. It's humiliating. You were very brave, Peter. And you pushed me out of the way just in time. Yeah, but I should have been able to defend myself. How could you? He moved so quickly. Yeah, well, hey, that's what we have to do, you know. I, I believe you now, Vicky. You're, you're mixed up in something, and somebody's out to get both of us. You won't laugh at me anymore. Who's laughing? Oh, my head. We'll tell everything we know to the police, please. Oh, no, we won't. They think we're just a couple of tourists who had the misfortune to be mugged. Now, we can't confront them with anything about the painting until we have evidence. I have the photograph. Well, that's not enough. I mean, don't show it to anybody yet. Not even the museum director, who's the man we're going to talk to first. Now, if you'll help me get out of this bed, we'll get going. Oh. You are not going anywhere, my boy. <sighs> Besides, it's the middle of the night. I'll be okay tomorrow morning. It is always a pleasure to meet a visiting curator from a distinguished museum. 
You speak excellent English, senor. I had the pleasure of attending school in your country. And I had the pleasure of attending school in yours. Did you indeed? Uh, now, what may I do for you? Uh, we came to Venice to examine a certain painting. Ah, and uh, which one, may I ask, would that be? The small Raphael in the Galleria. A minor work, senora. Not worthy to hang on our walls. But, senor, I was in Venice at the time that painting was discovered. I see. Now, my wife tells me there was very much excitement when the painting was first brought to light. Well, I was not in Venice at that time. I have only been at the Palazzo for the past year. But surely you knew it was authenticated as an original Raphael. I know no such thing. After the announcement was made, it was discovered that the man who examined the painting had made an error in judgment. But I my thought... Wife was, uh, my wife was led to believe that there was documentary proof. I know of no such documents. Where is Antonio? Why don't you get the documents from him? But there is no one named Antonio. The scholar, the craftsman who had the studio where the discovery was made. Is, is he dead? Who knows, Signora? That man disappeared. The painting was re-examined by experts who knew. They found it was not from the hand of a master. Mm, but you did think it important enough to hang. Only to save face. It has been judged from the school of Raphael. Mm. You think, as I do, that it's an out-and-out forgery, don't you? Oh, no, I wouldn't go that far. But if you and your wife are interested in Raphael, I suggest you go to Rome or Naples or even London. Well, we have other reasons for being in Venice. It's a romantic city and we're on our honeymoon. Oh, my felicitations. And since you have come such a long way... I will give you a special treat, seldom offered to strangers. If you will come with me, I will show you our view from the tower. Whew. There's some climb. You shouldn't be doing this, Peter. How's your head? I'm fine. We're almost at the top. There. Why did I tell you? Oh. oh, it's magnificent. What a view. And look, Peter. Look at this. Oh, it's as big as our Liberty Bell. And like your Liberty Bell, it no longer rings. I don't see any cracks. It's all solid brass. Why doesn't it ring? It's too loud. Too pounding on the ears. The sound is loud enough to wake up the dead. <laughs> Might be fun to wake up some of those ancient doges. Doesn't it ever ring? The magistrate has decreed that it can be rung only in the direst emergency. But, Peter, I was there in the studio when the canvas was brought in from a flooded basement covered with mud and partially painted over. Who else was in that studio? Only Antonio. Classes were over, and I had asked for the best place to observe the technique of restoration. I begged Antonio to let me watch him at work. I was there that day that he burst into tears over what he had found. And you took pictures? He let me because he wanted a step-by-step -step record. Oh, it was tremendous to watch those glorious colors emerge. I was getting together an album of photographs to give to Antonio. And? And then everything of mine was stolen, except the clothes I was wearing and the book I was carrying with that one photograph between the pages. I have an idea. Do you have your mini pocket camera with you? Sure. Okay. Let's go into the gallery, and I'll touch the painting or do something to attract the guard's attention. While he's stopping me, you snap a picture. Wizard! I'll palm the camera and try. It's loaded with fast film. Uh, even the texture of this painting is wrong. The blue is good, but the fine line over here and, and these coarse brush strokes... Senor! Senor! Do not touch! 
It is forbidden. No hands to come near the painting. Oh, I don't think running my finger along here will harm this fake painting. Oh, no, no. You are breaking the rules. I will have to place you under arrest. Oh, look here, guard. I, I didn't mean any harm. I must ask for your name, senor. The name of you and the senor. Oh, well, that's easy. I, I have both our passports. Come over by the window and I'll show them to you. Ploy worked very well. Did you get a picture? Took three shots just to be sure. Bono, molto bono. You are a very smart man, Luigi. Not like these other idiots. There are others, senor. Oh, they don't know what you know. But they were hired to follow the American corporal and get a photograph. Uh-huh. You said it was in the lady's purse. Uh-huh. They were not supposed to attack the man with the camera. And uh, what should I do now, senor? The finding of the names has earned you an extra 10,000 leaves. <laughs> that will be all, Luigi. Uh-huh. No more visits to my casa. From now on, I will handle everything myself. dark side streets. Let's go to the library by canal. How about a gondola? Uh Uh-uh. Too expensive. We can get there by Vaporetto. I think there's a stop on that landing over here. Signora! Signor! You are American visitors. Si. Uh, Si, signor. Ah, uh, permit me to introduce myself. I am Signor Enrico Guardi. I believe we may have met before. No, I think not. Always I would have remembered such a lovely lady. Uh, but you have perhaps seen my picture. I am what you call in your country a city official. Pleased to meet you, sir. Permit me to introduce my wife, uh, Victoria, and I'm Peter Bradford. Ah, you are taking a trip on the canal? Oh, we're going to the biblioteca. It would give me deep pleasure to send you there in my gondola. Here it is, at your service. Well, thank you very much. If it won't be out of your way. No, 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 no. I will not go with you, but I will help the signora over the side. <laughs> oh, my purse. Ah, how could such a thing have happened? I'm going after it. Peter, don't be silly. I've learned better than to carry much money. Uh, how deep is it here? Uh, there must be a way... Uh... Oh, it is most unfortunate, Senor. Well, we must I... recover it. I'm afraid it's gone, Peter. But your camera... It's in my pocket. Oh, that's good. But Vicky, the uh, uh, photograph... Don't worry, Peter. It's in a very safe place. A momento. I believe we have the good fortune. And I got so give me that boat hook. Oh, you got it. I fear the handbag may be damaged, but uh, if I may have your address, I will be most happy to replace it with a finer one. Now, the key is big enough, but this lock always baffles me. As soon as we get in, let's have dinner sent up. And then we can get right to work and compare notes, okay? Uh, Okay. There she goes. Good Lord. Oh, no. Not again. Our room's been ransacked. What a mess. Every drawer open. Look what they've done to our clothes. Oh. Well, at least they've left us something. Not like before when I lost everything I owned. Yeah, well, we'll soon find out what they did take. Let's see. Not interested in my jewelry or the pocket radio. You'd think someone might take that. They busted open this suitcase, but the traveler's checks are still here. Peter, I haven't missed anything yet. But it's a nasty feeling to have someone paw through your personal things. Oh, you know what they were looking for. Now, where did you hide it? Hide what, Peter? Our most important piece of evidence, your photograph of the painting. I told you, it's in a very safe place. You have the photograph. I haven't touched it. You have my passport with yours in your inside pocket. And that is where the photo is. (laughs) Clever girl. Did you ever belong to the FBI? Hmm. Pieces of the puzzle are beginning to fit together. That man with the gondola. I knew I'd seen him before. He said he was a city official. Yes, and I remember when he came into Antonio's studio. He saw you taking pictures? No, but he must have known I was taking them. So that's why all your things were stolen. Of course. But they didn't know I had one photograph that wasn't in my room. Yeah, they know now. 
But that's why that smooth-talking Enrico tried to dump your purse in the canal. Only we didn't show that photograph to anyone in Venice, not to anyone. In the museum, Vicky, when you held it up next to the painting. But you and I were the only ones in the Galleria. We're dumb, Vicky. Dumb. What? The guard saw us. Oh. That old guy who wouldn't let me take a picture. Why, well, he must be the informer. Now we can go to the police. Not yet. They may even be in on it. We're going back to the palace and talk to the museum director and that guard. Peter? Peter, something's moving. Got that shadow behind the curtain. All right, stand back, Vicky. Get away from the window. He's out there on the fire escape. Someone's been watching every move we make. <laughs> Venice has a reputation for being a city of intrigue. It is also a city which has long been a storehouse for art treasures. Collectors will go to any extreme to get what they're after. And who knows how far they would go to acquire a painting by Raphael. We'll find out how far one collector would go when I return in just a moment with Act Three. Vicky and Peter have deduced what we already know. The museum guard Luigi is an informer. His employer, Enrico, has told him his mission is over. But Luigi is a slow-thinking man and has now recalled some observations of the dangerous American couple which he thinks Enrico should know. So, at closing time, he makes his way to Enrico's house, goes under the portico, and timidly rings the antique bell. No one answers. He rings again. Signor Enrico, why does no one answer your bell? Answer, please. I must speak to you. Perhaps he is down in the little office next to where he keeps his gondola. I am afraid the signor may not like what I am doing. But he said to tell him everything... He said I would be helping the state, that it was my patriotic duty. I believe now the time has come to take direct action. Yes, yes. They know about the painting, so he must act quickly. Uh, Luigi? Ah, I have that old fool paid off. He thinks they're spies. Shh, shh, shh. No more conversation. Hang up at once. Is someone there? Uh, See, si, Signor Luigi. Uh, you are standing by the door. How long? Uh, not long. But you heard. You heard what I was saying. Uh, n- n- not everything, Signor. Uh, come in here. I've paid you well, but now I will pay you ten times more. I want no money from you. You will take it as soon as you give me your promise. I will give you no more promises, Signor. What I am doing is no concern of yours. A man like you could not understand these things. There is a great deal I do not understand, Signor. You will swear not to breathe a word of anything you have overheard? For if you do, it will be the last breath you ever take. How do you know your old friend Antonio didn't make off with the painting? Antonio? He wanted to tell the world about it. I think that museum director knows a lot more than he told us. Oh, he told us as much as he's going to. And not if I threaten to expose him. Oh, Peter, you're not being realistic. Besides, the one we have to expose is that guard. You're the old man. Now, of course, he's being paid off, so he'll play dumb. You'd better answer. If it's the switchboard operator, I can't understand a word she says. Okay. Pronto? Who is this? Oh, oh, Momento. Who is it, Vic? It's the guard. From downstairs? No, no, the guard at the Galleria. Speak of the devil. I uh, can't hear you well. See? See? Lento per favore. Che cosa? Pericolo? What danger? I understand. Thank you. Grassy, Grassy. No, no, my husband and I, we must stay here. See, you have molto coraggio. 
We will talk to you at the Palazzo tomorrow. Domani. We must talk... Luigi? Luigi? Are you there? What happened? A crackle of stack, and then the phone went dead. I could hardly hear him all the way through. Yeah, but why did he call? What did he say? We sounded terrified. He said he was warning us that we are in grave danger, but he couldn't tell me why. He's in danger, too, but he said he's an old man, so it doesn't matter. But if we value our lives, we must leave Venice at once. How about that? They're trying to frighten us so we'll get out of their hair. I don't think so, Peter. He was in a panic. I think it took great courage for him to call. Oh, nonsense. This is some kind of double cross. We better watch our step at the palace tomorrow. I don't see him. Peter, there's a new guard in the Galleria. That's not the man I talked to last night, not Luigi. Well, he's probably been moved to a new post. But we could spend an hour looking for him. Let's go right to the director and find out. Mr. and Mrs. Bradford, uh, please excuse me. I cannot see you now. Uh, we are looking for your guard named Luigi, the man who's usually in the small gallery. Unfortunate, most unfortunate. I cannot speak about it. But we want to talk to him. A terrible tragedy. Something uh, happened to Luigi? I cannot speak. Please, please to go away. Where is Luigi? He's dead, signora. An accident, surely. This morning, he was found floating in the Grand Canal. Now what are we going to do? Peter, it is time. We must go to the police. Or should we first get in touch with the American Embassy? One more look at that painting on the wall. Peter, that man in there. The new guard? No, no. He just stepped behind the pillar. It's that city official, the man with the gondola whom I thought I'd seen before. Mr. and Mrs. Bradford, I will speak to you. Oh, good. Good. Go right ahead. No, not here. We must have absolute privacy. Well, there must be a room in the palazzo where we These can These walls have ears. You will come with me. I'm not sure we want to. If you come quietly, there will be no trouble. Otherwise, we shall all be sorry. Walk straight ahead. I am right behind you. And where are you taking us? To the only place in all of Venice where I'm certain we cannot be overheard. <laughs> I'd climb these stairs again. Shh, don't let him know we've been here before. Keep right on, straight to the top. And don't be afraid. You will like it here. The view is magnifico. That's what they all say. You see? What I promised you. Away from all those stupid people in the piazza far below. Senor, you did not bring us up here to look at the view. Ah, no, senor. I brought you here to discuss some very important business. Well, let's get right to the point. The signora has a certain photograph. I demand to see it. But I do not have it with me. Ah, scusa, but I happen to know that it is always in your possession. I will show it to you, signor, if you will admit the painting in the photograph is not the one which hangs on the wall of the palazzo. Oh, you are very clever. Far too clever. I will pay you a fortune for that photograph. The photograph is of little importance. My wife and I want to know what has become of the original painting. That is no concern of yours. And if you make trouble, I will have to take steps. All right, let's drop the pretense. You've, uh, you've as much as admitted that a Raphael masterpiece has been stolen. Ah, uh, no. Not stolen, senor. It has found its proper home. Well, where is it then? Did Antonio... Ah. Uh, Ah, poor Antonio. He should have known. All right, stop talking in riddles. We're tired of being hounded. We deserve an explanation. Deserve? There are very few deserving people, senor. The doges, the doges were princes who could have whatever they wanted. All the beautiful things in the world. They surrounded themselves with beauty. But never did they have a Raphael. Just what Antonio said. 
He said that was why it should hang on the walls of the Ducal Palace. But the Doges are gone. And something of such infinite beauty must never be on public display. Don't tell me the painting's been destroyed. Ah, no, senor. The painting has found its rightful owner. I, too, am a doge. Although I do not live in a palace. You have the painting. I have it, senora. I have it. And since you and your husband are artists of such high refinement, I will perhaps show it to you. But first, we must strike a bargain. Just a minute. A painting as valuable as this one can scarcely be hidden from the world. The world of today. <laughs> Tell me, who knows the difference between an original and a reproduction? Oh, senor, my students uh, would Perhaps, know. Uh, after all, you are not to be trusted. I will make my decree, and my orders will be followed. Senor, you may be a doge, but we are not your subjects. Then you would betray me, and I must do what I did not want to do. Mine is the power... Here, watch out. D don't stand too close to the railing. Ladies first, I will get that photograph and destroy it. I, don't you go near my wife. Peter. Do not worry. I have no intention of pushing you to the streets below. This will be a better way. A gun? Peter! And up here, when I fire, no one will hear a sound. You wouldn't dare shoot two Americans. I won't dare anything. He would, Peter. The man is insane. Senor Enrico, consider your consequences. If you kill us, you will lose your painting. But if you would share it with the world, you could still... Enrico shares with no one. You can't get away with murder. Think again. First the lady, then you. And then I will kill myself. He means it, Peter. Do not move. Look behind you, Enrico. Uh, Before you pull the trigger, look behind you. Uh, uh, there is no one behind me. Of course not. But uh, you turned your head for a moment and I have your gun hand. Be careful, Peter. Be careful. Vicky, the bell. Grab the rope. Let go of me. Let go. Hurry, Vicky. Pull as hard as you can. Pull the bell cord, Vicky. Make that bell ring loud enough to wake the living as well as the dead. the fate of Antonio and Luigi as the gun went off harmlessly into the air. And as the great bell roused the Venetians, Enrico slumped to the floor of the tower, helpless. Oh, yes, the painting was recovered, although I cannot guarantee that you will find it hanging on a wall in the palace of the Doges. I'll be back shortly. sure there's danger everywhere, especially for those of adventurous spirit. Our two young Americans found danger in Venice. Enrico had delusions of grandeur, but he was even more deluded in the belief that things of great beauty should not be shared. What pleasure it is to look upon the treasures we share every day in our great museums. cast included Rosemary Rice, Tony Roberts, Robert Dryden, and Gilbert Mack. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. And now, a preview of our next tale. A clerk. A clerk spends the savings of nearly two years. Maybe I could take the gown and the shoes back. Cab and... fare all across town, there and back. And to him, it's ridiculous. They might refund it. They might... Punch him in the nose is what I should have done. Punch him in the nose. Oh, and found yourself out of a job in the morning. If you still have a job at Mount Joy. I don't give a damn if I've got a job there or not. I don't give a damn if I ever see the inside of Mount Joy's again. I don't give a damn if... Henry. What's wrong? Why are you staring at me like that? Where's the necklace? The necklace? Yes, the necklace. The diamond necklace, Matilda. Where is it? Gone. Henry. Henry, I've lost the diamond necklace. 
Radio Mystery Theater was sponsored in part by Buick Motor Division and Anheuser-Busch Incorporated, Brewers of Budweiser. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant dreams. <laughs>